Hello, welcome to TED Talk, a new segment for our channel where we get to pick a random TED Talk and watch it together. The talk for today, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. We have some maybe shorter talks. Maybe let's take this one, fake videos of real people and how to spot them. Seven minutes, that's a good length. Supasorn Suajana Korn. Hopefully I don't mispronounce that. Supasorn. Supasorn Suajana Korn works on ways to reconstruct, preserve and reanimate anyone just from their existing photos and videos. Crazy. Let's see. He's a computer scientist with the GitHub account. So he only has one TED talk. All right, let's watch him. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I've seen this kind of things before, but but I mean, it never really ceased to amaze me how crazy the reality is when you can make videos like that when, when I don't really know how to differentiate them at first. This is a great presentation. I really like quite a lot of it. I think the first thing I would say is the introduction. Uh, when he showed that four picture of Obama, I thought all of them are real or maybe because, you know, the way he presented it like that, maybe I thought one of them is not real, but it turns out to be all four of them. Just like that. The fact that it's all four of them really grabbed my attention. And I think this is one thing that we could do almost immediately for all of our presentation. Whenever you see an introduction or you try to write a presentation where the introduction itself um, says something about you know how uh, you get to that topic cut that out in this example Supasorn really did that and the other thing that I noticed is that he put the introduction uh, the usual you know how did I come across to this topic actually slightly after he has asked that question he did explain it in that project how did you survive the Holocaust how did I survive I survived I believe because providence watched over me. Turns out this answer... And then from that beginning, he goes up and, and, and get to a point where he starts looking at Richard Feynman and the videos. The flow of the presentation is very clear. At each step from Richard Feynman and he introduced Bush and then all of these famous people, he has videos of these models where the mouth starts speaking and the lips starts moving. And at the end, it goes back to Obama and how we were able to watch those videos at the beginning of the speech. The flow and the structure of the presentation is so clear that it becomes effortless for us to watch because we know exactly where, where it's going to go. It also ends with, now what? the conclusion or the end of the presentation gives that next step now that i know this is happening what can i do i'm worried and he gives this end bit where you know you can download this thing that at least we have a way somehow to to detect or to know if this is something that you are worried about you should download this browser so the call to action is very clear and the reasoning of why we should do this is also very clear so as a public service announcement, I think this, is, this has worked perfectly. So the introduction is really good. The conclusion where you have a call to action for everyone to download this browser is also very good. I would argue that if you think that your presentation is informative only, at the end of the day, you still want to persuade people to do something with this information. We live in an information abundance era where there are just too many things. So if you're presenting to an audience or to your colleagues or uh, your friends about some information, what you're actually doing is persuading them to do something about this information, to be more aware. But to be more aware is an action. 
So for all information, even if it's just informative, it should have a call to action at the end. And Super Porn did that so well. I think the best characteristic of this presentation is the credibility that he has gotten through showing. It's really a lot of this presentation is showing, not telling. When he shows the video of the lips moving, show the video of the whole mouth moving and then the whole face moving, uh, we didn't think that this was previously possible and yet now it's been laid out in front of us. I mean, this is so insightful that in several parts of the presentation, people were clapping. Even though Super Porn didn't really set the stage up, it was simply just the the insight was just too good. I think this is a fantastic TED Talk and I think what has been achieved here is mind-blowing. If you haven't watched the TED Talk itself, please do. Uh, I think it's only from April 2018, so it's actually quite new. We've just randomly picked it and it's quite cool. We seem to have gotten something good. So tune in again for the next episode of Tab Stock. If you like this kind of format, do subscribe and comment down below if you have any Tab Talk that you want me to comment on or look at so that we can learn together the kind of techniques that we can apply to our presentation. Bye-bye.